solid as a rock, rigid, stoic and unmovable, or rather sluggish, with both feet firmly rooted in reality, with a sense for beauty, forms and aesthetics, are stability and security particularly important? Do you have these characteristics typical for Taurus? Do you know people in your social context who express these Taurus qualities? In this video, we will tell you about the zodiacal sign of Taurus and its meaning in your horoscope, and we will reveal to you especially the basic characteristics and traits of Taurus according to Kabbalistic astrology. At the end of this video, we will give you a short and clear summary of all the key facts about Taurus that you will need to know for astrological interpretation. Brotherhood of the Eternal Light, Teaching the Western Mysteries the zodiacal sign Taurus. Venus rules the sign of Taurus, our prosperity she guards for us. The astrological symbol of Taurus shows the head of a bull with its horns. Taurus is an earth sign with a fixed quality. Sun moves through Taurus every year from approximately April 19th through the 21st until May 19th through the 20th. After the first seeds had sprouted in the previous season, the beauty of nature consolidates and unfolds. More forms and colors appear. The earth element manifests itself in its fixed form of appearance through constant growth. Gardens, woods, and grass start to blossom gracefully. The powerful and spontaneous emergence of plants and areas receives stability and abundance in Taurus. A fitting image might show how the stolid bull persistently plows and cuts furrows in the soil, and how the fields are tilled in spring. The bull is modest and tough, with stoic strength he is engaged in the processing of matter and form. The bull is also one of the four holy beings, the Chayot HaKodesh, which appear in the seal of the Brotherhood of the Eternal Light, and which refer to the angelic beings from the vision of Ezekiel, in which they carry the throne of God. The holy bull stands for the element of earth and in the temple for the cardinal direction of north, symbolizing, among other things, the attributes and qualities of reliable consistency, persevering work, producing results which can be experienced centrally, and of a disciplined approach. The ideals of Taurus are a sense of reality and form. Possible problems of Taurus are materialism and inertia. The second house corresponds to Taurus. This is about mundane interests, material goods, finances, and security. Basic Kabbalistic Meaning Taurus is associated with the tarot card, the Hierophant, sometimes also called the Pope, which, among other things, stands for patience and kindness. At the Kabbalistic Tree of Life, we find the assignment of Taurus to the 16th path, which leads from Chochmah to Chesed. For further information on Kabbalah, visit our online course or our workshops. Link in the description. Mythology to Taurus In a tale from Greek mythology, Zeus transformed into a graceful white bull and swam to Crete with the Phoenician princess Europa and seduced her there. In this story, we especially recognize the influence of Venus, the ruler of Taurus. In addition, the spiritual principle which underlies Venus on the Kabbalistic tree of life, Netzach, becomes visible. Netzach stands for charm, grace, and creative thinking, and, in its unbalanced form, for manipulation and hedonism. The Astrological Dignities of Taurus Taurus is the domicile of Venus, the planet of charm, creativity, and harmonious mastery of the forces of nature, i.e. the emotions. The spiritual principle at the Kabbalistic Tree of Life which underlies Venus is the Sephirah Netzach, Netzach represents the principle of creative thinking and gracefulness. The basic powers of Venus, creativity and charm, can unfold themselves particularly well in Taurus and express themselves as pleasure, wealth, and a sense of beauty. Taurus is the exile of Mars, the planet of energy and willpower. The spiritual principle which underlies Mars on the Kabbalistic tree of life is the Sephira Gavura. Gavura represents the principle of courage and power. The basic power of Mars, energy and willpower, cannot come to fruition well in Taurus, which is about security, matter, and sense of form. Where rigid, durable forms and a persevering quality are concerned, 
The powerful energy surges of Mars cause unrest and cannot be fully expressed. The active energy of Mars is in contrast to the stability of Taurus. Taurus is also the exile of Pluto. Pluto indicates how and in which area a person uncompromisingly strives for the best. The spiritual principle which underlies Pluto on the Kabbalistic tree of life is the Sephirah Keter. Keter shows the principle of the absolute, the basic power of Pluto, which is about striving for the best, which also can mean to leave behind the old, cannot adequately be expressed in the solid earth sign Taurus, which is about the preservation of stability and security, and about matter. The uncompromising power of Pluto experiences a strong inhibition or expresses itself due to the limitation in an extreme and fanatical form. Taurus is the exaltation of the moon, which is about receptivity and sensitivity. The spiritual principle which underlies the moon on the tree of life is the Sephira Yezot. Yezot represents the principle of the subconsciousness. The moon can express itself harmoniously in Taurus because the receptive nature of the moon, combined with Taurus's solid quality, leads to a certain emotional stability and uncontrolled fluctuations are avoided. Taurus is the sign in which Uranus is in its fall. The spiritual principle which underlies Uranus on the tree of life is Dot. Dot represents Gnosis and the principle of transformation. Uranus cannot adequately express itself in Taurus. When it comes to stability in matter, the principle of transformation is in contrast because transformation means breaking up solid structures. And now we present a brief summary of the most important astrological facts about the zodiacal sign Taurus. The astrological symbol of Taurus shows a head of a bull with horns. The sun moves through Taurus every year from approximately April 20th to May 20th. Taurus's element is Earth with a fixed quality. The second house corresponds to Taurus. The second house is about the mundane interests, material goods, finances, and security. The ideals of Taurus are a sense of reality and form and stability. The problems of Taurus are materialism and inertia. In Taurus, Venus is in its domicile and the moon is exalted. Accordingly, Mars is in its exile and Uranus is in its fall. These were the most important contents about the sign of Taurus. Have a look at other videos for all signs of the zodiac. Were you born between April 20th and May 20th? Or do you have several planets in your birth chart in the sign of Taurus? Or in the second house? And how do these constellations affect you? Maybe you, too, know somebody who you would describe as a typical Taurus personality. Please tell us about your experiences with Taurus personality traits and Taurus individuals in the comments. Find out more about our free Kabbalah online course or visit our website with additional free content. Links in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, please support us by giving us a like and subscribe to our channel. If you would like to be notified about new videos, then activate the bell. Thank you and see you soon in our next video.